Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking, and today we are back in uh, Mad Games Tycoon with the Battle of Vixhausen. And uh, that just scored 65%. And it seems like we are getting into trouble once again. So far, we are doing decently well on the money, but uh, not for long if this continues. We just need more f and better features. So uh, this was our first proper attempt at a World War simulation, and um, that, that that looks authentic. Oh yes, very authentic. So uh, let's see where we are at. Uh, Battle of Vixhausen didn't do all to it, but we can now take a look at maybe making a game report, create a game report for the Battle of Vixhausen, and see why it is so damn bad. Uh, it's selling uh, a decent amount. We do want to make another s simulation game uh, within this trend period. And why not make a game update so that we have a few more sales. This doesn't score too well. Yeah, this one. This one does. That's good. Uh, let's let's pick this up and hem out an update. Bef should be done when it starts collapsing a little bit. So, yep. And they are working heavily on the game report. It's like, oh, it takes me weeks to read one article, or maybe two. So uh, compiling that data is really, really uh, difficult. Yes, very difficult. So um, do not participate. No, we don't want to participate, as we don't have anything new to show right now. But soon we will. Oh, perfect. I just released it, and this is after the first drop. Um, should be good. And you two guys go back here and develop branching you. Oh, yeah, that that's them. Okay, that costs money. Uh, money, 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 money. I borrow fifty thousand here, and uh, branching out it is. And finally, eight bit music. Oh, that took a while. They're now done create another game report or no, let's take a look at existing ones oh wow we have nailed three already so we have nailed this and this and this so now it's just down to functions and gameplay and yeah that's pretty good so maybe <clears throat> considering that the graphics are all the way up here 40 percent versus 10 percent gameplay maybe it's even stronger than this in the next one, we definitely should move the graphics one snap down. And I think the atmosphere probably pushes towards more atmosphere. And these guys are getting some training now. How about proper programming skills? Uh, where are the programming skills? Here. Yeah. yeah, they are all trash. <laughs> they are all complete trash in programming. Well, that's, that's a good choice. But they are trash in every category. So... Mm. Yeah. Let's see if we have any kind of ultra developers. <gasps> there, there, there's one! There's one! Oh, fuck! Yes! Yes! Here we go, guys! Here we go! Morica! Morica! Well, he's a strategy guy, but still. So, Dino Tiny. Uh, let's, let's hire him! Oh, wow! <laughs> he's the new star of the team! I think I know where I'm going to place this dude. He's going right there. Oh, well, as soon as I've actually completed another game report. Spec Ops 82. Oh, he can work on contract work alone. I mean, he, he's a star. <laughs> he's a star. He can do whatever he likes. Oh, another engine uh, money drop. That's good. Let's pay back at the bank. We would need an update, too, for the game. It's dropping off significantly. I think he can cram one out real quick. And let's put both of these guys here, too. Just to get it out in time. Oh, sales are dropping off significantly. All right, programming course is almost done. Ah, uh, yeah. They improved slightly. Uh, now almost mediocre at programming. Oh, the Battle of Vixhausen is already pulled. And we have 29 weeks to push out another simulation. An iteration on this concept. I think that would be great. 
let's hear from these guys as soon as they are finished. Oh, there we go. There we go. We need to put you back. Are you competent? Oh, yes, you are. Game designer. Yeah, there we go. And you are competent. Yes, you are. You go in here together with the star of the show. Write a story. Well, yeah, we have to write a story first. Finish it. Good. Now. Now. Can we develop an engine? Oh, no, there's still more features. Oh, we need 8-bit music too. Oh, damn it. Okay, 8-bit music it is. And you go in there. Oh, are you are you decent at something? I had everything. Decent at everything. So um, you come in here and you come in there and, and you all work on some contract work. We need more money. So more stuff. Do we have anything competent in here? Uh, not really office work. Gunter Torado. Gunter? A Gunter sounds like a America. America man. He's a very German America man. He likes fighting games and scripted AI. Oh, time is running out. Damn it. Make it faster. Make it make it real fast with the 8-bit music. Play it at double speed. I think they can cram out another small one before we need to uh, wrap things up. Oh yeah, that's quick. Okay, what more features were there? Parallax scrolling. I don't need that. So, you go into... Oh. A who's who? Um, stop there. So I think this dude has to go... Although his specialty is simulations. Nah. So I, I want to keep him here too. But... Um, there's some other mediocre guy here somewhere. So let's take you. That's not your speciality. And put you there. And then we can put uh, John Smith in here instead. And that means we can now develop an upgrade to our simulation engine. Improve old engine. And that should be the sim engine for plus plus. <laughs> it's called the 5.0. Oh yes, mouse driver. And branching air. Oh, this is this is getting good. And it's pretty quick. Wow. Look at the, the numbers here. Six. He produces six points of progress each time. Almost. It. Uh, ah, okay. I think I get it. It is a random number between, uh, between one and the programming score divided by ten. I think um, so it can go up to six and at minimum it's one maybe that's how it works maybe that's how these skill skill points work okay it's done what what where, where is he where's he going and why is this guy on the best desk maybe you should just buy better desks here yeah? now we don't have money for that um, Anyway, so this is a uh, this is our star. Cool. So now we can start a new game before it's too late. Develop a game. It shall be B plus military world wars and simulation, which is in the trend. We don't need a subgenre, and our latest engine 5.0. Yep, and we shall call it the Battle of Erzhausen. That's where I lived at some point. Uh, and we shall um, proceed from here. Return, B+. Yes, yeah, select all the platforms. Uh, platform, this has enough percentage points. B+. Yeah, yeah, why not? Already have a few stars in those. Okay, now, the game concept. Um, let's read about this one again. Oh, that was decent. Okay, uh, plenty of features. Copy concept, um, game game reports, concepts. All right, so atmosphere uh, and gameplay need to change. But everything else is good. Gameplay, atmosphere. Right, copy settings. So gameplay, atmosphere, let's move this towards more graphics. And it says more functionality. So move this two steps towards functionality and see if that makes it any better. Um, I think the copy production still works pretty well. Do we have any up? Oh, that's a nice upgrade. But no, no, it's still good enough. 
Good enough. We don't want to spend even more on this. It's already costing us half a million. So this is what we copied from there. We can make it for all languages. It's just a few more thousand right there. I mean, the Russians are full into simulation stuff. And the others, not so much. Maybe we want to save 20k there. I don't think that gives us too much more market. Not sure, though. There's no information on there. Like, what would be... What would be interesting is to have some actual data down here. Not only what kind of genre is is preferable in these regions, but also what the estimated market size is for the regions of the of games in general. Okay, we have too many features. I'm branching out, scrolling. Mm, do we actually need that? Uh, it's very basic. Oi. Do have all of these features, which is great. 8-bit music. Oh, this is this will be amazing. Scrolling. Sprites we kind of need. Scrolling. Yeah, switch scrolling off. We have mouse support. That will give us such a boost in controls. It will be great. Oh, and, but now we need much more money. Much more money. Something like this. Alright, and should we roll? I think we do. Here we go. And these two guys shall be improving gameplay first and later on fixing bugs while well, they are developing as fast as they can do we have any cool stuff here come on guys give me cool stuff i want someone who's had yeah, the gunter uh who's actually good at office work too uh just as a general project coordinator slash leader we have 15 weeks is this actually enough I don't think it is enough actually but 24% done 25% and if they're working well then maybe oh, they are already done here improve gameplay performance is up next I don't have money damn it okay performance is done um, how many bugs are there not all too many so I think I shall leave the best programmer which will be this guy on there and then put these and this one in there f to uh, speed up the project and he's removing the bugs all right that should speed things up maybe we can get no six no oh, unfortunate we can't get into the trend i just hope that simulations won't completely fall off and turn into the unpopular genre that would be terrible Ah, oh, then we can equally well just put him here and to remove some more bugs oh yeah that was far from it wow and uh, let's see, unpopular arcade and martial arts. Oh no, here's the plague. <laughs> the plague is coming. Oh, now we need to push it though. Um, so borrow another 250,000 and then have a small booth. Yes, we want to showcase the Battle of Erzhausen. Oh, so many visitors. Let's hope that translates into fans. Oh no, we need a support. Oh, fan support. That's stupid. Do we need a forum in the 1980s? 80s? Oh, that is bad. It's really bad. 100k? From a game we didn't have anything to do with. Awesome. And I think we should switch one of these guys over to uh, uh, the quality assurance department to fix some more bugs. As the game is almost done. There we go. Battle of Erzhausen. Right. <laughs> how, how did they know? I mean, look at that. That's completely authentic. It's just like it looks there. How, I, I, don't, I don't know how, how, they make, how they are doing this. Okay. Uh, no, we don't want to publish. There's still some more bugs in there, which we want to get rid of. And you guys could then start very soon on some more contract work. We have plenty of contracts there. There we go. Okay, it's done. Release the game. Release it now. Everything is awesome. Find a publisher. Uh, who wants this game? Economic simulation? No, not quite. Ah, Activision. Um, that's cool. Just five bucks, but I mean, why not? If they have market strength, then uh, that's pretty cool. Okay, decent score. Decent score. We need more focus on gameplay, but oh, look at that. Uh, 80? No, no 80. Ah, shit. But at least the controls are now very good because we have the mouse support. That has saved our asses. 
I think this one will sell pretty well. And of course we need to create a game report for our latest, the Battle of Erzhausen 79. I wonder if we have nailed down all the stats now. That uh, was a really high score. Or if it was just down to this mouse driver thingy. I mean, this lone person can start to work on an update for the game. <clears throat> as it's so good. I think it makes sense to uh, keep improving it. Oh, let's, let's do this. Okay, the game report is almost done. Wow, he creates seven? Huh. That uh, is mighty impressive. Maybe you need game design skills in order to do this. But of course, let's take a quick look. Why is this game so... Ooh, we nailed it for the atmosphere versus functionality. The graphics still isn't there though. But we already see one good thing is that as soon as first person shooter becomes available, uh, that is actually a good genre combination. So we're going that route. And maybe a training course for three people. Uh, how much do we want? And graphics? Pixels for everyone? Oh, the bank. The bank. Wow, current credit. That's that high. We really needed that success though. <laughs> Fuck. That was expensive. Uh, Alright, we just paid back half a million. And um, let's develop another upgrade. Uh, let's keep them coming. We want to hype this game up so that we can make a really nice sequel. Alright, do we get any kinds of awards? Best graphics? No. Studio of the year? Nope. Game of the year? No. Oh, damn it. Well, it was just 79%, right? What do you expect? Almost done with the courses. There we go. Um, excellent. So what now? Maybe I should try another arcade game, unless they are current. Oh, no, I should not. I definitely should not try another arcade game right now. That would be stupid. Um, how about making a new engine and... Hmm, maybe I just should put some more desks in here and switch out these desks so that we have optimal performance. Uh, um, expensive desks, sell those. There we go. And put some new fancy stuff in there. Oh, they don't fit. What is this? Why don't they fit? That's bad. Um, maybe I can fit a, a shitty desk in there. Yep. All right, they need more space. Place all the random items in the middle of the room instead. Oh, they have no... <laughs> Why does this work? <laughs> and, ah, oh, this does also work. It doesn't look very... Uh, well, it does look cozy. You better have a, 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 a co-worker that smells nice and uh, looks good. Um, but... Mm, something like this. Yeah. And more desks. I said more desks. So now we have five really expensive desks in here. I hope that helps. And we can move our whole team in there to... Um, uh, what do they need to do? Well, make an engine, right? Update the engine. Oh no, I still need to research A-games. Mm, that might be the next step on the ladder to success. But they're not complaining about too few fe features yet. Uh, let's see how quick they are on contract work because these are these are really lucrative. 150k, depending on how quick this is, it might be a, a winner. Once they find their seats, oh, there's someone here without a seat. We need another another desk. Although not really. Let's move this person in here and coordinate the project. That is pretty fast for that amount of money. There we go. Huh, quick. So what kind of contract works do we have? As in game contract works. What do they offer currently? Sports games. Uh, not my thing. An arcade title. B plus arcade title. 41%. Maybe we should just go for this one. And <laughs> see if we can make it. If we go for well, arcade... Uh, arcade military was good, but mar mercenary was shit, if I remember correctly. So, if we go with uh, military special forces, just as per usual, we have done so plenty of times. And we use our latest sim engine, 
because it has all the features, even though it's not optimized for the genre. Should be okay. Cyber Force. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's let's roll this. Uh, no selection of kits and hmm, we don't care about pro copy protection really, because it's not our game. So what did they say about Spec Ops? More depth. I think we changed that for the latest. Uh, my game concepts. Let's take Spec Ops 84. Oh, this needs a... Oh, fuck. That's pretty bad. Special Forces doesn't fit. So let's make it just military. And this didn't fit either. Well, we have a lot of things to improve on here. Okay, so we can change everything apart from the core gamer thing. Um, beginner friendly was game depth. Maybe something like this. What more do we have? These are these are the recommended settings. We want to have... Oh, this is so expensive. But, I mean, we do get a million if we succeed, so... Oh, and we don't care. Does language selection improve your game? I'm not sure. I don't tell you. And there's just one feature we need to get rid of. Well, controls are essential for a game like this. So why not... Well, we don't... Do we need sprites? If we render everything in polygons, yeah, kind of. I don't know if they are textured or not. They're probably just flat colored at that point in time. So yeah, maybe get rid of the scrolling then. Wow, <laughs> that costs a lot. Okay, guys, so let's get uh, this rolling. We do need this guy in this team, yes. And this person is pretty good at graphics. This person isn't. So you go in there. And do you coordinate or... No, you also go in here. And we improve gameplay. And performance. And, nah, controls. That's, that's overkill. Don't need that. We are going to fix some bugs, though. And uh, let's check for, for awesome staff once again. Oh, 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 look, 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 look. Oh, Pete. <laughs> oh, Peter Molyneux. Um, pretty awesome. We share building games and branching out. Yeah, let's let's hire you. Let's hire you. You are expensive as fuck, but totally worth it. You will be working on this game. Our oh, Battle of Erzhausen is out of business, but it made us uh, 680,000 in profits. Can't complain about that. Okay, they are done. Um, done with the improvements. Yeah, plenty of bugs. Oh, so let's get started on the bug removal. Real-time strategy as a new genre research. That could be a good combination for our simulation stuff. And yes, we do want to uh, create a little hype around this. Uh, borrow lots of money and participate with a small, small stand. Uh, we are getting fans. That's that's great. Um, does that actually help? Uh, we didn't have to create any hype for this, so basically that was a mistake, I guess. Cyberforce! It's done. Um, no, let's wait a little bit. And they still need to remove some of the bugs. Maybe John Smith can go over here with his awesome programming skills and help out removing those. Oh, yeah. Ah, no, don't, don't. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, they're done. So, release the game. Yes. And, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, easy, easy, easy. Wow, that's a pretty decent one. We must have nailed it. Like, all the settings must be really good, because otherwise it wouldn't be 77%, right? Uh, it must have been spot on. So, slight profit only. Oh, that's bad. So, uh, it's not worth it, producing these games. We need to make our own games. Maybe we should make a follow-up to uh, Spec Ops. Why not? Why not make um, a a larger, a larger Spec Ops game? But then again, arcade is no arcade is down, so we don't don't want that. Um, then we make a, uh, a proper. Do, do we have more research here? Oh, there's so many features. Land multiplayer. Land multiplayer is pretty awesome to have in a simulation game, I guess. About shooting, shooting stuff. But now, let's um, just move ahead and create a new game. 
Or before we do that, let's take a look at the game reports we can make. So Spec Ops was here. That was an arcade game. Cyberforce also. That's interesting. But we ha okay, we have created all the game reports we need. Battle of Erzhausen was spot on. Only the gameplay versus the graphics. I want to try out this last point here. Because we have we've tried this one. This wasn't it. So and this one wasn't it. So maybe it is all the way towards graphics. So we have come all the way. The full circle. We have come to Darmstadt. And uh, it's still the same simulation and military special forces. I don't know. Did we did we check if wasn't special forces somehow not compatible? Um might have been. Uh, I have to double check it once again. Memory of a goldfish, after all. Memory of a goldfish. So, what fan letters do we have? We didn't even get any fan letters. What the hell? Fans are not interested in uh, in our things here. Thorn Wayne, Shepherd's Blood. No, that's all old things. But the game reports are important. So, this one said World Wars Mercenary didn't fit. Okay, this was the Mercenary stint. That didn't fit. And this one said, and uh, this is all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And good general combination. There's World Wars and military. And then we had World Wars and military. Cool. And the graphics need to be all the way to the side. All the way to the side. That's what we decided. So copy the settings. And graphics go there. And maybe we don't have new copy production. Uh, this one is kind of shit now too. But that's just 30k. Let's, let's buy it. Get all the languages now. As we uh, should be able to afford it. And we have too many features. And too many features. What can we get rid of? Something graphical. Maybe the sprites? Or the scrolling. Yeah, let's get rid of the scrolling once again. Ah, alright. Well, military special forces is a little bit different than what we had. Um, military world wars was what we were doing before. So, but mixing it up. Let's see if this works. Just need to rearrange people in here. We need you. Uh, you can stay. You are great. You are mediocre. So maybe we want to move him in here. And do we have any super dudes sitting here? No, we don't. Excellent. So we improve the gameplay all the way up to the controls. And that's 50k right there. While wow, these super pros make the game itself. Uh, is there new... Oh shit, there's another one. There's another one. Another legend. Huh. Yeah. Come here. Come here, my dude. What? He is legendary. Look at his speed and will to work. Uh, and we do have another space in there. Perfect. Uh, I think he will... He will pay for himself just nicely. But um, I think before we continue too much here, it is time to wrap up today's episode. I hope you enjoyed, and see you guys next time. <laughs>